Well, I just had to refilm that intro because I had broccoli in my teeth. Um, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva, and today we are going to be reviewing, swatching, comparing six new shades, or rather six shades of the new Makeup by Mario Satin Lipsticks. Now, this launch occurred kind of out of nowhere. I feel like I'm pretty much in the know about what's launching as far as makeup goes, but this kind of snuck up on me. It launched the other day and I was going to resist and then I was like, gosh, I just, I really want to pick them up because I love Makeup by Mario products. I'm always so curious about the new releases. So if you're interested in seeing six shades swatched on my lips, on my arm, and then a few comparisons to other brands, if any come to mind, then go ahead and keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. There are a couple things I wanted to acknowledge at the beginning of this video as it has been over a month since I filmed previously. Since then, I have chipped my tooth, which I'm getting fixed next week, and I've also obtained another kitten, and he's very rambunctious, and you may notice throughout the video when I'm doing swatches, um, a lot of bodily injuries on my extremities, and it is because he is obsessed with biting. He thinks it's plain, we're working on it, um, but anyways, he also might make an appearance. He's obsessed with me and has to be in the same room with me as all time. So he's in here sprinting around on the floor. Um, anyways, I'm very excited to be back. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. And we are back with yet another makeup launch. I feel like the launches pause for a week or two weeks and now they're back. Like there's so much, there's so much coming out. I also want to mention I am going to be way more active on the community tab on YouTube here as far as asking people what they actually want me to review because I'm trying to be more financially responsible this next year. And so that means I'm not going to be reviewing everything under the sun. I'm going to be asking you guys what you're actually interested in. So be sure to keep tabs on that and vote whenever there is a product that you are interested in me reviewing. Okay, enough about me. Let's get into this launch. So a little more about the Super Satin Lipsticks. These retail for $28 and there are 18 shades and these are called the Super Satin Lipstick. Now I have the Sephora app pulled up on my phone and I'm going to read through the claims. So it says, this silky satin lipstick is reimagined by Mario and inspired by his hometown New York City. A single swipe delivers creamy, ultra comfortable color ultra comfortable color, perfect, missing a comma there, perfect for luxurious daily wear. This unique formula glides on and grips lips in 18 shades, each named after an NYC neighborhood or area code. Okay, Sephora really needs a copywriter because there were like a few typos in that description. But anyways, the claims are that it is a satin lipstick, but one that also has grip. Now, as far as shades go, I asked on the community tab, what are some shades you guys want me to test out? And I purchased some of those suggestions, um, but the shades I picked up, let's go through those. I picked up the shade 917, which is a really pretty like dusty rose. I picked up a lot of the nude shades. Um, something about this launch that really excited me is just the number of nudes in the collection and the number of variety of nudes. I feel like everyone looks good in a red, everyone looks good in a plum, but like nudes there are so many different undertones and nuances that you really need a wide selection when you're launching a nude lipstick so that they can work for every skin tone. So we're going to be figuring out today which one of these or which ones of these are best for my very fair complexion. Okay next one I got is Nolita which I did wear last night. I won't give my opinion yet, but I did wear this one last night and it is pretty similar to 917. And we will do arm lip swatches, so don't you worry. And I picked up the shade South Shore, which was a suggestion from someone who subscribes to me. So thank you if you are that person. 
it is more of a cool toned nude. This has the potential to look terrible on me, um, but we will see. I picked up Bronx Baby. This was another suggestion as well from one of my subscribers. Another nude shade, but this one is more on the warmer side. And then Dumbo is one I was just like, when I saw this shade, I was like, yep, I need this one. It is a spice, kind of like terracotta rose. And then the last shade I picked up was kind of a wild card, but I really wanted to pick up one of the darker shades because I feel like dark plums and dark shades are sometimes hard to formulate because they will easily show lip lines. I've experienced that at least even with like Chanel lipsticks, like really deep shades, like deep purples don't always formulate the best. So I did pick up one of the really deep shades. This one is called Forest Hills. Let's talk about packaging quickly. Um, I don't think the packaging is the most exciting. I think they could have done something maybe a little more interesting, but the packaging is quality. Like this is a pretty heavy component and it has a very strong magnet closure. Um, so the packaging, it's, it's good quality. Um, also, I think these are a pretty fair price for $28. I feel like now majority of lip products are like $42 with inflation. I feel like a lot of lipstick that, lipsticks that were previously $38 are now $42. So the fact that they kept this under $30, I do appreciate. And the component is nice. It's a little boring, but it's nice. Also, if I'm talking really fast or rambling a lot, it's because I haven't done this in over a month. So you're just gonna have to work with me here. Let's go ahead and just start trying some of these on. I'm going to, I have like a little lip mask marinating on my lips. I'm going to remove that and then we are going to swatch these. Something I forgot to mention in my intro, because I always forget something, is I did also pick up two out of the three new shades of the Makeup by Mario lip liners and then I already had three of those. So I'm also going to kind of pair up which of those lip liners looks best with these lipsticks so that if you already have the lip liners and you want to get the matching lipstick or the one that will look the best with it, this video will be able to help you do that. Let's do, I'm not gonna do necessarily lightest to darkest, but I'm definitely gonna save Forest Hills, that dark one, for the very end. Okay, let's go in with 917. So 917, I am gonna do a hand swatch for you now, and then we'll do arm swatches um, for all of them. But this is the shade. I'm also gonna pull up the descriptions on the Sephora app for the shades. So this is 917, and it is, it is described as a mid-tone warm rose. Very accurate description. So far, looking at the swatch and then looking at the products in the tubes, the swatches on the Sephora app seem to be pretty accurate, which is not always the case with lip products. Let's go ahead and go in with shade 917. I'm gonna do one swipe, try to do one swipe first so we can see what they look like and then build up if needed. So let's go in. Okay, this is one swipe. I'm gonna, you know, judge it together. Um, very, very pigmented. Nice amount of pigmentation. Ooh, they have, I wanna say a very, 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 very subtle vanilla scent. It's nice, I like that, I like that. But it's barely noticeable, so if you are sensitive to scented lip products, these will not bother you. Okay, so this is one coat of 917. Let's go in with one more. I don't even think we really need to, but I wanna just build it up a little more. That is a really, really pretty shade. So here is the shade 917. I'm going to wipe that off and then we will get into the next shade. Instead of just doing, like I sometimes will do music in the background and just do a video of all the shades. I'm gonna just 
keep you with me as I'm doing it. In case I have any strong opinions about the shades, you can get my live reaction. One of the things that I found so interesting about it is that grip claim. I actually hadn't read the description and the claims yet until a few moments ago when we read them together. And my immediate thoughts after I applied the lipstick last night, my immediate thought was, oh, whoa, this has like a lot of grip to it, which you normally don't get in a satin lipstick. So the claims, the claims are accurate. We did 917 and now we're gonna do the shade Nolita, which looks very similar to 917. So once I apply the arm swatches, I will be really interested to see like what the actual variation is. And Nolita is described as a mid-tone warm pink. I also picked up a new lip liner that I think is going to pair really nicely with this. Let's go ahead and apply, doing our best to just do one swipe on each first. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna do just a couple more coats. I just love to build up lip products a lot, even though it's not always necessary. This formula is also pretty flattering. Like, I can still see my lip lines, but it doesn't emphasize the lip lines. It doesn't make them look worse, um, which for something that has so much grip, I think is impressive. Okay, so we have the shade Nolita. I like this shade. I actually am kind of taking back what I said earlier about the shades really matching up what's online. I will insert an image of what the swatches of Nolita look like online. I would say this is a much deeper, plummier pink than the mid-tone warm pink that is on the Sephora site. So maybe I'm gonna retract the claims that they're accurate swatches. I think we need to continue to test more. Next, let's do the shade Dumbo. Oh, so excited. This was the shade if I was only going to get one, which was my initial plan. And then I was like, for science, I need more. Um, this was a shade I was going to get. And this is the shade Dumbo. It is described as a spiced rose. Let me do a hand swatch. Sorry, I forgot to do that for Nolita, but we'll do the arm swatches soon. And this is spiced rose. Let's get this one on the lips. Okay, that's the initial application but I'm gonna go in and apply a little more. So this is the shade Dumbo. I think this is a really, really beautiful fall winter shade. Now we're gonna do South Shore. South Shore is described as a cool pink nude. Nudes are really difficult, I find, on pale people, so we will see how this one works out. But it has enough pink to it that I don't think it will make me look like a Crypt Keeper. Um, the swatches online for this one are also way lighter than they actually appear, which I prefer because I get really scared at light nude lips. So that may work in my favor, but if you were hoping for a really light nude, those images are gonna be misleading. Let's go ahead and go in. Um, Actually, before we do, I did want to note that these do have a little bit of a stain, um, which, I mean, I like when I'm applying them, but for swatches, there is still a little bit of those former shades on my lips even after removing it, so something to keep in mind. Okay, one swipe. One swipe. Very pigmented. I'm going to go back in, though, and do another. I just like to go overboard with my lip product application. I don't know why. Okay, I really love this shade, actually. Okay, I was I was nervous about this one, um, but I like it. I like it. And again, cool tone nudes normally, or just nudes in general, I struggle with, but I think this one looks pretty nice. I'm curious if watching back the footage, I'll have the same opinion. If I end up hating it on me, I will add a note to the screen. But my initial impressions right now in this like studio-ish lighting, initial impression is this is a really, really pretty 
flattering nude. Exciting. And again, this was the shade South Shore. The last nude shade that we are going to be trying is the shade Bronx Baby. Bronx Baby is described as a soft, warm rose. It looks way lighter in the images, which I'm grateful that it's actually a little bit darker in real life, but again, wanted to mention the inaccuracy. Let's apply her to the lips. My kitten is silent right now and it makes me nervous. Oh, he's over here sleeping. I'll bring him over in a little bit. Okay, one sloppy swipe. That's what this one looks like. I'm gonna apply more. This is the shade Bronx Baby. I'm like on the fence about this shade on me. I, I don't know. I I'm I need to I need to to look at it further. Like first impression, I'm not obsessed with it on me. I don't think it looks terrible. Oh, okay. Looking in my mirror, I think it actually is a very nice fall winter nude. It's again darker than I was expecting, but it is really pretty. For the grand finale, we are going to try on Forest Hills, which is a very deep plum shade. It is described as a rich wine. And I do find that like purpley wine type of colors, even though I don't wear them very often, they, they look good on me because they contrast with blue eyes and they make your eyes pop. So that's just a tip if you have blue eyes, that a shade like this will look nice on you. Okay, pigmentation's looking good upon that first hand swipe. Again, as I mentioned, I find this shade is sometimes difficult to formulate. I'm gonna try to be a little more careful with this application so that it doesn't get all over my mouth. Oops, I already did more than one swipe, but we already know these do well with one swipe. Okay, it looks like a child just applied this lipstick. I'm gonna go get some Q-tips and clean this up and then I'll be right back. This is the shade Forest Hills. This is much vampier than I normally would go for. I was expecting this to be, based on the photos, a little more berry and a little less like blackberry, but it is a really impressive shade. It's so pigmented. It's super pigmented. I was in the bathroom cleaning it up with Q-tips and I was really, really impressed. I don't actually love this shade. I, I will, I'll wear this, but like this isn't going to be my go-to shade, but it is very pretty. The pigment is really impressive, just not totally for me. What I want to do now is I want to get all of these swatched on my arm so we can start talking some comparisons and like if the shades are super similar swatched. And then we're going to get into the lip liner pairings. I'm actually back really quickly. I wanted to zoom you in and show you the stain that these leave behind. This is actually a really nice stain. I removed the Forest Hill shade. And you can see a very, very stain, very lovely stain is left behind. Again, I like when a lipstick stains, so that way when it is fading off, especially a satin one, it's not looking patchy, etc. This, this is really, really pretty. I actually prefer the Forest Hills one as more of this berry stain, in my opinion. Okay, now, now for the arm swatches. Okay, I'm actually filming these swatches on my iPhone because the color was looking really weird on my camera. I need to figure out what was going on there. Um, but anyways, here are the swatches. I actually swatched Pillow Talk down here as a reference point for the nudes because I feel like everyone on the planet either has Pillow Talk or has tried it. So I thought that would be helpful. 
oops, as I smudge these already smudgy swatches, going from left to right, we have 917, Nolita, Dumbo, Bronx Baby, South Shore, and then Forest Hills. So you can see that, I mean, these first three are pretty similar. 917 and Nolita, I mean, it's really hard to tell them apart. I would say 917 has a little more like coral to it, but these are, are pretty much the same. Like you definitely don't need both of them. And then Dumbo is definitely spicier. And then Bronx Baby and South Shore are, are definitely different, but those first two, I mean, are really similar. As far as Pillow Talk goes, there's not an exact shade match for Pillow Talk. I would say Bronx Baby is probably the closest, but it's more of like Bronx Baby mixed with maybe like Nolita or 917. Okay, now that you have seen all of the lipsticks swatched on my arms. Let's move into the lip liner swatches really quickly. I have two of the new ones and then some of the old ones. I will insert that clip right here. Now for the lip liner swatches, these first two are two of the new shades. So we have Pink Peony, Burnt Sienna, and these are three of the existing shades. This is Toasty, this is Smoky Pink, and this is the shade Hue. Let's talk about pairings. I still have the lip liner swatched on my arm, and I want to try and pair some of the lipsticks with those lip liners. Again, as I mentioned earlier, if you already own some of these lip liners, or you're interested in the lipsticks and want a matching liner, I wanna be able to help you figure out which shade works best. Switch cameras, because my nice camera went psychotic, the screen went green. I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not impressed. I upgraded to a nice Canon camera, camera, and I feel like it's constantly breaking and having issues. Anyways, we're back on a different camera. I was saying that I was trying on Smoky Pink, and we were gonna pair Smoky Pink with Bronx Baby again and see how that pairs together. So already have Smoky Pink on. Now let's add Bronx Baby. Okay, this is another good pairing. Again, not a color combo I would normally go for, but I actually like on me the Smoky Pink with this one more than Toasty. It's a good way to do kind of like a simple ombre lip ombre grungy 90s lip. And the last one that I have for you, I have one more lip liner from Makeup by Mario and that is the shade Hue. So let me go ahead and apply Hue and then we will apply our last lip combo. This is the shade Hue on the lip liner. And now we are gonna apply South Shore to the lips. Okay, I like these two together as well. Of the nude lip combos, I would say this one I think looks the best on me. The other ones pair really nicely, but they kind of wash me out a little, a little too much and are a little too like 90s grunge for my liking. But this one, this one I think is really nice. So again, this is Hue paired with South Shore. Now let's bring it all in, tie it up with a bow, and give you my overall thoughts. So my overall thoughts on this launch are very positive. I did really enjoy the formula when I wore it last night. It had decent stain powder, especially for being a satin lipstick. The claims that it grips are really, really accurate. It has a nice grip. They're super pigmented and they have that nice stain when they wear away. I don't remember what the wear time was, if I'm being honest, because um, I wore it last night, went um, to a friend's house for dinner, and I wasn't like checking my lipstick throughout the night. Um, so I do apologize that I don't have like a full wear test for you in this video, but I really wanted to get this video up to show you these swatches. Um, as far as the shade range, again, 
big thumbs up on the number of variations in the nude shades. Like even though yes, Nolita and 917 are so similar, I actually do like a range that has very subtle nuances because those subtle nuances make a different make a difference with different undertones and skin tones. Um, I also think the price point is very fair. Um, I'm, I'm glad I picked these up. I don't love all the shades on me. I would say my favorites are going to be 917, Nolita, and Dumbo. Um, but I'm going to keep playing with the two lighter shades, Bronx Baby and South Shore. And then I am going to definitely wear Forest Hills, that really deep one. Um, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to try it more sheared out and see if I like that a little bit better, but was very impressed with this pigmentation. I hope this video was helpful. If you want me to do any more comparisons, let me know in the comments below and I can always post um, a photo on the community tab. So if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I am a small channel. I'm new and it really, really helps me out. Also, again, if this video was helpful and you decide to purchase one or any of these products, um, I do have affiliate links down below. Additionally, I will have everything that I'm wearing on my face, sweater, earrings, etc. linked down below. Let me know in the comments, are you picking up this launch? Are you interested in this launch? Like, what are your thoughts? Or is everyone over new lipstick formulas? Like, spill the tea, let me know the thoughts down below. And, oh, before I go, I need to introduce you to my new son. Let me go grab him. He's been napping on a chair. One moment. He's very sleepy, but this is, oh, very sleepy. This is my little son, Seamus. He's three months old. He's around two and a half pounds. Actually, he's less than that. He's like 2.3 pounds. And he loves to bite and scratch because he thinks he's playing. And I am obsessed with him. So yeah. This is this is this is my little guy and you will see him in some future videos. Thanks so much and I will catch you next time.